Sunday, you guys. My name is Christy Taylor, and this is Let's Chat, and I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Sundays are my favorite days because I get to hang out with you guys. If you are new to the show, Travis is tiptoeing on the side. If you're new to the show, I want to say welcome. I want to thank you for joining me, and I want to invite you to come back week after week after week. Um, do not fret, because every episode that you have missed is on the website. Um, I should type the... Danielle, can you type the website in? Actually, let me try to type the website in. Travis is um, saying hello, Danielle, to you. Um, the goal of the show, I repeat it every every week the goal of the show you guys is to entertain encourage and enlighten you all and i'm doing the same thing to myself when i'm trying to encourage you all i'm also encouraging myself um the i want you to if you can danielle has already done it i just saw um share bottom left button if you could share the video so that we can get other people in on our conversation and invite the newcomers and make this even more fun than it's already going to be. I appreciate that. Today's show, bye Trav. <laughs> Today's show, we are going to, I'm going to, real quick, I didn't even taste, I tasted a little bit earlier. I made these, I made these. These are some more DIY sweets for your sweetie. I hope you guys can see them okay. Should I do it a little closer? Yeah, let's see. I don't, hopefully you can see them. I know they're sliding. You guys, these are chocolate covered heart shaped strawberries <laughs> that I made. I can hold them up one by one when we talk about them. Um, also, we are going to be talking about my current event today. It is nine reasons you should eat, apparently, you should eat dark chocolate every single day. I was like, mm, I don't know, but when I read through them, they all made sense. We're also going to be, I have a two-part chat segment. Usually I have um, one chat segment and we focus on one thing, but I still wanted to talk about Valentine's Day and today is Super Bowl, so I could not not talk about Super Bowl. So I'm going to be talking about Valentine's Day and then right after, just real quick, three ways if you're hosting Super Bowl, how to take your Super Bowl um, party to the next level. And I feel like I just said the word Super Bowl like five times in one sentence. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then I have some announcements and then I will let you guys be on your way because I actually have to go grocery shopping to make our snacks for the game. So let's get started. Oh, real quick, I like to let you all know if it's your first time watching. Um, I oftentimes will look to my left, your right, because I have a screen um, going on over here. Hi, Carol. I'm so glad you made it. It's never the same without you. Um, I have a screen going on over here so that I can look at your comments and interact with you guys. Hi, April. And these are like my notes. So over here, I got a little bit of um, something going on over here. And I have a studio. Like, no, really, I do. I will show you guys behind the scenes of what it looks like. So that's what's going on over here. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started with the goodies. Last week I showed you guys um, Valentine's Day sweets for your sweeties. It was chocolate dipped apples and it was ooh, chocolate dipped salted chocolate dipped um, oranges or little tangerines and they were the bomb.com. So this week I wanted to do these chocolate covered strawberry heart shaped strawberries. So I'm going to put these up this cutie pie this thing is cute was my mom's idea this one was my mom's idea the other ones I got from Pinterest um, those who don't know why I didn't bring a napkin got one those who subscribed to the website please subscribe to the website received yesterday um, I've been sending out every Saturday I've been sending out parts to a short story by Quinn Nicole but I've also been tacking on cute little recipes so it was like the cranberry apple recipe in the crock pot um, I added last week the recipes to the chocolate dipped goodies sweets for your sweetie and then yesterday I did the the uh, chocolate covered strawberries only if you subscribe so you gotta go subscribe and then I can send these things out to you um, so for the chocolate dipped uh, chocolate covered strawberries all you do is take a strawberry you cut the top off I guess I could have shown you guys in real life cut the little green part off cut it in half and then you're gonna cut a little slice to make it heart shaped so here's the one my daughter named the birthday heart so you cut them in half 
oh it's dripping um and then you just cut a little sliver um from the inside bottom so that you can push them together each of these have a toothpick in them <coughs> excuse me to hold the two pieces together so you melt your chocolate and i hope you guys can see this good you melt your chocolate and then you do a thin layer i poured it on there super hot um i poured it on there and then you just smooth it and then whatever topping you want to use i used um colorful sprinkles on this one because if you're making it for kids you want it to be fun so this one would be like for the kids um so i put a uh, colorful sprinkles on this one but you want to do it before the chocolate uh dries and settles right so for that one i did this the um sprinkles for this one i also did sprinkles but these have little small um crystallized pink sprinkles on them hopefully you can see that okay and then for and i'm looking on the side oh yeah you can see it good and then for the other two that my mom was like so i was explaining to her right how um how pinterest the recipe that i or the the one that i found says to make them so i'm like you cut it in half and you cut a little sliver and then you put it together you put a toothpick in it you know moms my mom's like why don't you just like cut a v-shape at the top of the strawberry and make that the heart so i was like okay i can try that of course it works because moms know everything so that's what i did for these it's just the whole strawberry and i cut a v-shape right at the top and then i rolled it around in the um I rolled it around in the chocolate and then I put little crumbs of graham cracker on there so I like those better than the flat ones but you can do both if you want and then for this one same thing I left the tooth oh well um I left the toothpick in this one because I was going to hold it by the toothpick but I think it might be a little too heavy let me take it out same thing you guys I just cut a v-shape in the middle and this has bigger pieces of graham cracker on it and then you just <clears throat> you just um, sprinkle the graham cracker on there and then you put it in the fridge so last week Carol was telling us she gave us a really good tip to put it on wax paper or parchment paper so that it doesn't stick I'm sorry I'm wiping my hands off so it doesn't stick to it but um, make sure you put your toothpick in it if you're gonna cut it in half and put it in there and so I think I mentioned this last week the dollar store has really cute little Valentine inexpensive obviously the dollar store boxes that you can get in containers and place them in there for next to nothing my strawberries cost 250 for a whole thing you can one two three four I did I've made four so far um, but you can do like 12 of them and put them in the, a dozen, put them in the box and just give them as a gift. They're very inexpensive. You don't have to wait for the order to come in. You don't have to hope that it um, comes in on time. And literally you just go to your grocery store. So for the chocolate, uh, you use um, chocolate chips and coconut oil or a little bit of olive oil or anything to make it easier to, um, I guess, put pour out on the strawberry it's easier to work with a little th thins out a little bit I put mine in the microwave on like a minute you stir it up and then you just put it um, on there I use some chocolate I had gotten for Christmas it's um peppermint chocolate bark from William Sonoma and it's uh it was white chocolate and milk chocolate mixed and then it had like pieces of peppermint on it I was like I'm not gonna go buy chocolate I mean it's huge so I just melted that but you can do white chocolate dark chocolate um, milk chocolate any of that while we are talking about chocolate that let me move this that um, is a good segue to my current event so I'm reading this current event and of course I always want to do one that's like appropriate for what's going on at the time so it's Valentine's season month and I ran across this article you guys that said that there are nine reasons that you should eat dark chocolate every day every day dark chocolate's not usually the favorite chocolate uh, of course it's a little more bitter tasting but after reading this I'm like should I focus more on dark chocolate nine reasons you should eat dark chocolate it says every single day okay this was um, in the Huffington Post number one it says that dark chocolate just makes you happy so not just because it tastes so good but it contains um, tritophan 
And it says that tritophan is an amino acid that's used by the brain to make serotonin. If that's a neurotransmitter that makes us feel happy. So the number one reason to eat dark chocolate is because it makes you happier. If you're not in a good mood, go get your piece of dark chocolate and see if it... Um, Boosts your mood a little bit. Number two, dark chocolate with a high cocoa content contains a solid amount of soluble fiber. It says a 100 gram bar um, has 11 grams of fiber. So I guess <laughs> for fiber, to get more fiber, have dark chocolate is what they're saying. Um, it says it helps keep your cholesterol down. Fiber does. Soluble fiber. And it helps, you, it helps keep you feeling fuller than longer. And then that, apparently that's good for your digestive system. So it makes you happy. It's uh, fiber. It says it might be good for your brain. Eating dark chocolate may keep your brain sharp and help you ward off dementia. So I always think that things are very interesting when it comes to um, if it can help with Alzheimer's, dementia, any if it can solve a health issue. I'm always interested in it. Um, like I think I did one about like how tequila is good for your health. And it was talking about like, um, I think it was Alzheimer's. So this one says that um, a four year, a four decade long study found that people with frequent chocolate consumption performed better on brain powered tests. So they tested two groups of people. They gave this group of people chocolate. Dark chocolate, these people didn't get it, and the people who had the chocolate tested higher, so I guess it's better for your, for your brain. Um, and apparently, number four says it's good for your heart. Eating dark chocolate may lower your risk of cardiovascular disease. One study showed that eating chocolate five or more times a week lowered the risk of tar cardiovascular disease by 57%. This is a good way to get you some chocolate for Valentine's Day. If you want me to send you this article, you can forward it to your loved one and be like, Look, it's good for me. So, you know, I, I need to make sure that I'm eating enough chocolate and it's for my health, babe. So, you know, if you want to help my health, you got to get me more chocolate. I don't know. See if it works. My husband would be like, okay, Christy, if you want more chocolate, just say you want more chocolate. Number five, um, dark chocolate makes for happier babies. A uh, as another study found that mothers who ate more chocolate during pregnancy had happier, less f fussy babies. Um, probably for the same reason what number one said, because it has that, um, that chemical in it. Number seven, it's also good for your skin. It says eating it can actually help protect you from sunburn thanks to two antioxidants um, found in dark chocolate. So there are two antioxidants in there that can help you against sunburn. So I guess eat it more in the summer. Number eight, it's a natural stress reliever. I'm so huge on natural stress relievers. I've talked about how um, starting your day on the right yoga, like beginning your day on the right note or tone. I talked about um, last week, the bathtub. Oh, that was that was taking a bath. I guess that was to sleep better, but also, I guess, for de-stressing because it relaxes your body. And then, um, what was the other natural stress reliever we talked about? I, the music. There was a specific song that they said um, that I, I talked about on the show that says it immediately lowers your stress level. So, apparently, dark chocolate, um, it says, it's found to lower the levels of stress hormones, which could very well be part of the reason you crave the stuff when you're feeling stressed out. A lot of times when people are stressed out, they just want chocolate, uh, apparently because it's a natural stress reliever. So that's, that's good. And then the last one, I think it's funny if you're a parent, it says little kids don't really like the taste, so you don't have to share it. Keep it all for yourself. So I thought that was really interesting, you guys. I thought it was interesting because there are nine reasons. And then I also thought it was interesting because they said every day eating chocolate every day. Now, I don't know what the uh, sugar, how much sugar is in dark chocolate. I guess I should could have looked that up because then if it's like a lot of sugar, then that you're upping your sugar amounts and that's not so healthy. So I guess um, you just gotta make sure it's a good balance. I'm gonna come over here to, I'm gonna come over here to the comments and see what you guys are talking about. Let's see. 
Rachel says she loves dark chocolate. So Rachel, I like salted dark chocolate. I do like dark chocolate, but I love it for some reason. If it has that sea salt on it or a little caramel, then I absolutely love it. Um, I did take me a while to get used to it. So now I like dark white milk. I think I like all chocolates. I don't really discriminate against my chocolates. Chocolate is chocolate to me. It's really, really good. So Carol says, I've tried so hard to get past the bitterness, but I just can't unless it's a peppermint patty, but I still can't take more than that. <laughs> yeah, it took some time for me to get used to dark chocolate. Uh, I feel like I will, like there's, they, a lot of the candy bars now come in dark chocolate. Uh, Almond Joy, I think one of my parents, I can never remember which one. One loves Almond Joys, one loves Mounds. I usually buy both candy bars when I go see them and like here and then they grab which one they like. But Almond Joy has dark chocolate. There's a dark chocolate, chocolate Snickers. There's a dark chocolate Reese's. Um, so I don't know, Carol, maybe try those, but those also have a lot of sugar too. But it did take me a while, like I said, to get used to dark chocolate. This article, I'm like, okay, if I have to have chocolate, maybe I should choose dark chocolate over milk and white. Hi, Chris! Hi, Chris! Chocolate for dinner, Sarah? No, I don't think you're supposed to have it for meal replacement. <laughs> I think maybe for dessert or a snack or just put it in there somewhere, but I don't think we're gonna be using chocolate for a meal replacement. Sarah is actually having a baby, so to make sure my niece is a happy baby, I will get you some dark chocolate, Sarah. I will get you some. Danielle, what flower? You talking about this flower you like? Is this the flower that you like? Thank you, if it is. Dark chocolate, dark, Danielle has a dark chocolate pear, almond, oh, dark, Dark pear almond chocolate from Whole Foods. 13 grams of sugar. I have to try that. I saw the I saw that you had that. I'm gonna have to try it. I don't live near a whole a Whole Foods, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna have to try it out. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys about Valentine's Day. Obviously, it's coming up. Uh, I just want to put a side note in there. My birthday is the day before Valentine's Day, and I will be having I guess on my birthday, I'll just do a, hey guys, it's my birthday. But my birthday is the day before Valentine's Day. I just thought I should like put that out there. But I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, as we know, and I talked about Valentine's Day last week, um, what the guys say they want for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys were able to watch that. If not, go to the website and look at the episodes. I put it up yesterday, um, Sunday evening last week. So if you need some tips on what to get your guy for Valentine's Day, watch last week's show. Today's show, I'm talking about Valentine's Day as a single. If you're a single, Valentine's Day, three squares. Valentine's Day is a single. Okay, so for me, I feel like for Valentine's Day, if you're single, okay, let's start from the beginning. It's not always a good day for people, right? So Valentine's Day, if you're single, can remind you of your ex. It can remind you of what you did last Valentine's Day. Maybe you were with someone and it was super romantic. It can remind you that you're lonely if you are. Sometimes Valentine's Day is not like you know, oh, I love Valentine's Day for everyone. So if you're single, I have some tips on how you can make your Valentine's Day bomb.com. I'm not single, but I'm always huge on loving on yourself. So these are loving yourself and others tips if you're single, okay? So number one, make a spa appointment for yourself. And this is not just like, number first of all, spas, always always hands down every valentine's day they always have a good deal they always have a valentine's day special everyone always has a valentine's day special so you're single no one needs to know that call hey i want to take advantage of the valentine's day special and book yourself a spa appointment or if your significant other is out of town for for valentine's day say you're not single single or your other significant other is not in town these are some things that you could do when I say book yourself a spa appointment I don't mean the usual mani petty or what you usually get do something new try something new I've never had a hot stone massage um, because I personally think if you put hot stones on my back it's gonna burn it's not gonna be um, was uh, relaxing for me but if you've never had like the the head to toe body scrub massage you can get that they have all kinds of like 
whatever the special or the deal is book that for yourself do a facial do a massage you can do a mani pedi but i want you to treat yourself and love on yourself this valentine's day so make a spa appointment is number one and if you guys have other tips you guys um that i'm not saying put them in the comments we'll talk about those any other ideas okay number two go to dinner with a friend again these restaurants Everyone's trying to get your money, right? So the restaurants have Valentine's Day specials as well. I actually heard one the other day. Um, Stonefish Grill in Maryland, one of the locations, they were like, bring your Valentine to Stonefish Grill. And only for, I can't remember how much, you get a it was like dinner and a bottle of Hennessy or Rosé with your meal for only $1.25. I don't know if that's a good deal, but um, it was their Valentine's Day special. So book it with a friend. I remember going to a restaurant with a friend around Valentine's Day. I, actually, it was on Valentine's Day. And Travis and I were not huge. Like, I think I mentioned that last week. We don't really do Valentine's Day. I do it with the kids. Um, but for one another, because we are always celebrating each other throughout the year, it's not huge for us so a friend of mine and I went to this restaurant on Valentine's Day it was a female and I think we actually know for a fact now that they assumed we were a lesbian couple they put us over in the romantic section they had put a cloth <laughs> tablecloth on our um, our table there were candles on our table I feel like there were two pieces of chocolate and they were like happy Valentine's Day and and so at first I'm like well what is going like okay and then i caught on I, I started looking around and we were in like the valentine's section who cares they gave us a good deal and it was a nice dinner i mean the candles were a nice touch we were, were literally just friends but um take yourself and a friend to dinner treat your friend to dinner if, if their husband or um loved one is out of town if they're single as well go to dinner why not you don't have to sit at home and woe is me still you can still enjoy your valentine's day Make sure you guys make those reservations like now though because you know how Valentine's Day and restaurants are crazy which is one of the reasons why I usually celebrate my birthday the following weekend because you're going to be waiting an hour. So make your make your spa appointment early and make your dinner um, reservation like now, okay? So number three was buy yourself a nice piece of jewelry. You don't always have to wait for someone. I actually bought myself this gorgeous rose gold ring for Christmas. I just felt like it it was on sale and i liked it but go buy yourself a nice piece of jewelry they don't have to be too expensive a nice pair of earrings a new ring a bracelet a necklace um a pretty watch treat yourself the goal is to love on yourself right and not dwell on the fact that you don't have a significant other at this moment but you love yourself so why not treat and spoil yourself so buy yourself a nice piece of jewelry number four get a hotel room for yourself have movie night, get room service, and spoil yourself. Just, I mean, go on, you can go on Groupon. I go on Groupon quite often, and they always have really good hotel deals on there. I mean, like, you can get a nice room in the city in D.C. for, like, I've seen under 70 bucks at a nice hotel because right now it's not tourist season. Um, so you can get you a nice hotel room and order room service take a book with you or order a whole bunch of movies or take dvds with you bring your laptop and watch netflix all night um but i think that that's the goal is to kind of do out of the ordinary for yourself for valentine's day so why not book yourself a hotel room Number one was make a spa appointment, go to dinner with a friend, buy yourself a nice piece of jewelry, get a hotel room. And then number five, this is the final one that I have for you guys, is to have a little get together. Uh, I don't know, well, I wouldn't invite coworkers, but um, girlfriends, guy friends, um, people that you maybe have been meaning to get up with lately, you haven't seen them since the holidays, invite people over um, or out and tell everyone to bring a bottle of wine and chocolate or a, something sweet, a dessert. So you can have wine, a wine and dessert table and bring a blue a Bluetooth speaker, play some music, um, this has to be love songs. Just have a little get together, right? So I thought that I would just take out a little bit of time for those that may be single and let you guys know that Valentine's Day doesn't have to be like down and depressing. There are 
plenty of things that you can do. You could totally take advantage of Valentine's Day as a single. Go get all those good deals. I feel like IHOP at one point had um, heart-shaped pancakes for just whatever, 99. But look up all the Valentine's deals in your area. You can just Google it and I'm sure a lot will come up and totally take advantage of those as a single. What are you guys saying over here? What do you think? What do you think? Are you... Oh, you guys are still talking about the chocolate. Okay. <laughs> so, moving right along, you guys. I wanted to, um, since it is Super Bowl Sunday, I wanted to give a couple of, I didn't, I was going to do some, some Super Bowl snacks, um, but it's already three. Super Bowl starts in about three hours I think in 20 minutes I think it starts at um does it start at 6 30 5 30 or 6 30 so you probably already have your menu um real top off real quick at the top of my head though before I get into the Super Bowl um party games um meatballs you can totally throw meatballs in the crock pot put some barbecue sauce in there and let those cook get you some toothpicks and go get um either fresh pineapple or a can of pineapple and cut them into pieces probably about like a maybe about an inch get a toothpick put a pineapple on there and then put a meatball on there and just make a whole plate of really cute Hawaiian meatballs. Um, you can do honey barbecue because, um, you know, honey and pineapple for the Hawaiian, um, excuse me, um, sliders. I'm doing sliders in a pan. Just get a whole bunch of rolls. You can do the Hawaiian rolls. You can do the regular rolls, depending on how much money you're trying to spend. The Hawaiian is a little higher. Um, put them down. You can do um, ham and pineapple sliders. You can do the hamburger sliders. You can do meatball sliders. Put them in a pan. Um, if you're doing the burger ones, you want to make your small burgers in advance. Put them on the rolls. Put your cheese on them. Put the top. Oh, I wouldn't put the top. Pop them in the oven for a little bit just to let the cheese melt. And then put the tops on them. And then you have get all your fixings and let people make their own little sliders. That's quick. That's inexpensive. Of course, wings. There's a really good recipe. Parmesan butter garlic um wings on pinterest but you can also go get the hooters breader and the hooters um wing sauce which is what we do all the time and make your own hooters wings this is if you're hosting at home there's a really quick very inexpensive ways to have um good hearty treats for super bowl um uh, i've made my own mozzarella sticks but it might be a little too late for that because you have to put the cheese sticks in the freezer and freeze them and then, well, you roll them in the in egg, roll them in breadcrumbs, put them in the freezer, and then you fry them up. I don't think you have enough time to actually where they will freeze all the way. And if you don't freeze them, they'll completely melt in the hot grease. So you want to make sure that you don't, um, I don't see the comments, you guys. You want to make sure that if you're doing those, you freeze them. Usually they say to freeze them overnight. So that might not be a good one for today. And then, um... What else is a uh, milkshakes is always huge in my family. Anytime I'm doing treats for um, NBA All Star game or any sports thing, the kids want pigs in the blankets on the menu and they always want milkshakes because I look up different recipes for milkshakes and they're next level. So if you have to have a dessert, I think milkshakes are fun. They're easy. You just totally throw it in the blender with a little bit of milk or whatever you want to add into it. If you're having adult milkshakes, put your bourbon in there. That's really good with some whipped cream and caramel on top. Um, but those are some really quick, inexpensive um, tips on Super Bowl day treats. It's cheaper, you guys, than going and ordering a whole bunch of wings at um, a wing spot. It's cheaper than going and you can make your own platter instead of going to like the grocery store and ordering those big old platters that are super super overpriced um make your own i know my grocery store has like buy one get one free chips there's always good sales on the day of super bowl so go out get those things a bag of meatballs is like five bucks barbecue sauce you can get for like under three two dollars okay um and then the pineapples are nothing toothpicks dollar store all right so three super bowl party games if you are hosting a, a super bowl party you have your food Everyone's watching the game. Everyone's having a good time. But um, sometimes you just want to have a little bit more, right? So there are Super Bowl party games that you can play during the Super Bowl. 
The first one is a very common game that is played at baby showers and it's called Don't Say It. So usually at the baby shower, you can't say baby. And the premise of the game is if you say the word that you're not supposed to say, then at the baby shower, you give up, it's either um, a safety pin or a clothes pin. So you get like say five clothes pins, you put them on your clothes. And if someone hears you say baby, they're like, oh, and they take it. The At the end of the baby shower or the event, the person who has the most, um, whatever you decided on, clothes pins, safety pins, um, they're the winner. For this, all you need is to go get a whole bunch of safety pins or clothes pins at the dollar store for your guests. Give them three to five, depending on how many you want to give out. And for Super Bowl, I think um, a good word, obviously, is football. You want to pick a word that you know is going to be challenging for people not to say. So football, touchdown, loser, suck. When people are talking like that's they suck or you know they that sucks. Um, uh, touchdown, loser. I think those are the ones. So the you have to get penalized. So if you don't want to do the clips, if you don't feel like going to go out and buy it, then. The person who says it has to do, can either do push-ups, it can be jumping jacks, it can be something physical, or um, you have to put a dollar in a bowl and at the end of, and, and keep a tally, at the end of the game, the person who has the least amount of tally, so they didn't say it either at all, um, they win the money if you want to do money. If you just want to do it for fun, I would say they got to do uh, push-ups, sit-ups, or jumping jacks. So that game is called Don't Say It. You pick the word and they're penalized if they say it throughout the whole game. Number two is just for fun, rate the commercial. So, um, you know, everybody knows Super Bowl has amazing commercials. Most of the time they're amazing commercials. The I cannot remember how much they said it costs, but companies pay so much money just to get a commercial spot during Super Bowl. So their commercials are usually next level. So you're just going to rate them. If you want to go print out um, one through five and give a group of numbers to your guests and just, okay, let's rate it, you know, and you can give a reason. Okay, that was a one. Well, I think it was a five. Just start the conversation. Just friendly competition. Um, <clears throat> make your generic cards. Um, that one's just called rate the commercial. And then the last one Obviously, you're going to take bets. This is called bets. So when people come in before the game starts or as they come in, somebody's going to be late. Um, you want them to make a bet. Make a bet on who will be MVP, which player will score the most points, who's going to score the first touchdown, um, how many total yards are going to be accumulated. That's it for the big football people. Um, Will the singer of the national anthem sing live? Will they lip sing? And what's the closest person to the final score? As far as prizes for this one, get creative. You can go to the dollar store. You don't have much time. Um, and you can get like um, a little mug, a football mug or a football towel, just something corny. Or if you want to go get a $5 Starbucks gift card, you can do that too. Um, but just for fun, I think if there are parents there, a good prize would be whoever lost, they have to babysit for you twice in one month. Um, shovel your, your front, not your front yard, shovel your sidewalks. That's a good, you know, you got to come over and shovel, you lost. Money, obviously, could be a good one for um, if someone loses. But I think that those are all really good. I cannot, like, see the comments at all, you guys. I think those are really good games to play to take your... Um, there were also other games that was, like, um, pin the football and the touchdown. Um, the touchdown. The touch... What do you call this? The... Oh, my gosh. The goal. The, <laughs> the goal. They had a big goal um on a big piece of white paper and they just blindfolded you and the person who gets closest to you know wherever they want you to get it wins they had other games like that but i thought that these were really cool inexpensive little to no money to do if you want to take your super bowl party to the next level all right so i have a couple of announcements for you guys um the first two okay so 
Let's Chat has a campaign called Spreading Love with Let's Chat. It's sponsored by Love by B. Love by B does specialized care packages. She sends them out. It's a beautiful, wonderful um, company that sends personalized care packages out. So it's not like she goes and just buys a whole bunch of junk, throws it in a box and sends it out. She makes um, cards, um, personalized cards. She has some, a form for you to complete to give information about who you're sending that box to, favorite color, what they're really into. She sends spa boxes. She sends birthday boxes, Christmas family packages, all kinds of like gorgeous things. So she um, is sponsoring Let's Chat for a campaign that we are called, that we call Spreading Love with Let's Chat. The premise behind it, you guys, is um, basically it's helping those that help others is half of it. So if you know that someone is taking care of someone else, they're giving all of themselves to someone else out of the ordinary. I'm not just saying like a mother or just a father, they're taking care of their kids because you're kind of supposed to take care of your kids. But um, someone who's caring for, for an elderly parent um, that may be sick. Someone that's caring for um, a very sick child and they are just drained emotionally in every way possible. They're taking care of someone else. We want to send them out um, and we're doing one box a month and um, we want to send them out just something to brighten their day. Just something to say that, you know what, you're taking care of someone else. Let us help take care of you through this. Um, and then the other part of that is someone who life is just kicking their butt. They are just like going through it, just can't win right now. Things that are completely out of their hands. Those are people also examples of people that we would like to send. Um, and love by B, spreading love with Let's Chat up. Uh, care love package too so if you we already have sent the first two boxes got sent out last month um i have i think they like i think they said that they liked it i'm gonna ask for them to uh, write up a testimonial you know i just want to know what the favorite part of the of receiving it was and we already have our person for february but if you have someone in mind um go to the website contact us let me see the contact Yep, the contact us tab on the website and just send me a little note. They give your name, your email, um, the subject for the subject, put spreading love with Let's Chat and then a message. Just give a little information about why you think that that person deserves a love package. And we want to do it. It's January through December of this year. So we have already sent out two and we're going to have February's. Um, and then so we have 10 more that we would love to be a blessing to. And thank you so much, Love by B, for sponsoring this. You guys, make sure that you check her out. Uh, she, especially for Valentine's Day, her Valentine's Day cards are beautiful and you will not find them anywhere else. Hallmark has nothing on these cards. Go to her website, um, Love by B. Let me make sure I have the right link love by l o v e b y b e e dot com and i think i'm almost positive she said she's releasing her valentine stuff it might be out now so go to the website and at least send your mama or somebody a card she has all kinds of from mason jars filled with with candies all the way to huge family boxes so thank uh love by b again for that um and if you want to donate because I have three children to feed and I don't can do all this out my pockets. So um, go to the website and there is a help us give tab. And on the help us give tab, you will find um, spreading love with Let's Chat. And it will have a button at the bottom right that says donate here. And you choose the following day for the day of your donation. And then it will you every little if you donate a dollar. It doesn't matter. Every um, little, part, not, no donation is too small. Okay, no donation, is, no donation is too small. So that's for that. Also, um, next week's business spotlight uh, is pretty much going to blow your mind, especially if you are into entertainment. If you do videos like myself, I do videos. If you do YouTube videos, if you do Periscope videos, this one is going to blow your mind. So make sure you tune in next week for that. Also, a previous business spotlight, Black Phoenix, Carol Black is the owner, the CEO of Black Phoenix. Um, she is about to do a relaunch of her company within the next month. So make sure you guys are on, I will, of course, when she does it, of course, I'm going to talk about it on the show. We're going to have her back on the show. I may even do a live interview with her because um, this she does virtual. It's 
Black Phoenix virtual assistants, right? So some of her services, um, data research, project management, um, maintain travel and appointment calendars. If you have a, a small company and it's growing and you know, you're starting to, it's starting to really pick up and it's hard to keep up with, this is perfect for you. She is about to have a relaunch and keep an eye out for it because you want to make sure that you join um, her mail list for special offers and prom promotions. Carol Black is very professional. She's very kind. She gets it done. You can go to the website, Black Phoenix. Carol, you want to put your website in there? It's blackphoenixvirtualassistance.com. There's testimonials on there for people who have already used her services, but make sure you go on there, you guys, and support her because it's such an awesome we cannot always do it ourselves like we all know this and you don't have to and the thing is it's virtual so she doesn't have to live in your city or even in your state or even in your country you you um contact her and work something out any and if you see someone who could possibly or know someone who could possibly use these services just for it on to them. I've done that. I saw this girl who her business is up and running and it's just her right now. And overnight, literally overnight, her company's and I'm going to have her as this business spotlight. Her company is growing. And I'm like, I know this person who would totally be perfect for you. And I think they linked up. If not, I think that's the plan. But if you if you can't use her services, make sure that you uh, even like if your church needs someone. There's a virtual assistant out there for you guys that will get the job done. Her name is Carol Black and it's blackphoenixvirtualassistants.com, okay? Be on the lookout for the relaunch within a month and make sure you sign up for the mail letter, okay? And then I have a special guest next week, a special co-host. Next week is my Valentine's Day show. It's going to be all things love. And who better to co-host but my husband? If you guys have not seen us do a video together, it's hilarious. He is so funny. Like that, we've been married 10 years. He makes me laugh literally every day. I don't know if you guys saw before I started this video, I tricked him. I'm like, babe, can you help me with my lighting? So he's like, he was just supposed to sit here and make sure my lighting, you know, I wanted to make sure the lighting was good. He's acting a fool. He's like posing and just like, he's funny. So we are going to do a, um, we're so competitive with one another. We're going to do a true or false with Travis, we've done this before. It's going to be the girls against the guys. So I'm going to be giving him the questions and then he's going to say true or false, whether it's a myth or not. And then we'll see who gets, uh, last time I think he said he wasn't going to get any more than two wrong. He got like five wrong, but the guys came in strong. They were rooting for Travis. They were helping him out. So Travis will be on the show next week for my love episode, my Valentine's episode. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be the day before my birthday. So, of course, I'm going to be talking about my birthday. Um, all right, you guys. I'm going to go. It is time to go. I got to go grocery shopping and get ready for the Super Bowl. But I wanted to encourage you guys, uh, those singles or who's not with anyone for Valentine's Day, to spoil yourself, treat yourself, love on yourself. Super Bowl party years, do not drink too much if you're drinking. Um, have fun. Do it on a budget, and I will see you guys next week. Make sure to tune in. If you can do me a favor, click share uh, on this video. If you haven't done it already, afterwards, no problem. Just click share. Sign up for, oh, one more announcement. Um, those who are subscribed, I think I mentioned this earlier, um, this is the final part to Quinn Nicole's short story. So everyone who subscribed, Quinn Nicole um, wrote a short story, which was, bomb.com on Facebook. The demand was super high and she posted all four parts. Then she took them off for us so that I could give them to the Let's Chat subscribers only. So if you have not subscribed, you have been missing out on that. Make sure you go to my website and subscribe. Uh, for the. So I posted that last, not posted, but I sent that out last night. Part four to that short story, as well as the strawberry, um, the chocolate covered strawberry recipe. And then, mm, let me see. Next week, I'm going to be sending out all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. The newsletters, you guys, are only going to get better and better. I'm having so much 
it's fun putting together that I, initially I was like I'm gonna do one a, one a month I don't think I'm gonna put too much on my plate one a month but literally every week I've been sending them out so make sure you subscribe to the website I'm gonna be announcing some stuff that I have coming up on the website um, and if you have any suggestions you guys any show topics that you think I should talk about or that you think will be fun go to my website and click on contact us and please this is our show let me know what you think I should talk about I don't know everything I think of things I'm like oh that'll be good to talk about I jot things down I already have two new chat segments that I think I'm gonna talk about but springs coming up if you have some spring break ideas or some recipes um, let me know let me know thank you guys for joining me I hope this was a fun enjoyable yummy show speaking of yummy first of all I'm hungry I want to taste um, this this hey Tina mm. Mm. oh my god so good um, it's okay that you're late I love that you're watching thank you thank you so much for coming on you can always go back and watch you know I put them on the episode I mean I put them on my website like right after this I'm gonna post it so you can go back and watch and if you guys have not shared please share the video um, and you can share my website if you want uh, all the episodes are on there get word out I have a lot of really exciting things coming up for the show and I really appreciate those that continue to come back every Sunday and watch the show it means the world to me it really does I really really appreciate those that can watch live those that interact with me I appreciate everyone who clicks share I thank you guys for if you can't watch live coming back and watching and even caring to watch it thank you guys I'm gonna go before I start talking all over again and um please come back next week I'm gonna eat another one it's gonna be so fun okay <laughs>